Thank you, Heath. Now, according to the Louisiana Department of Health's heat illness dashboard, there were six heat related illnesses in the state. In Acadiana, there were over 200 emergency department visits for heat related illnesses. News 10's Rodrigo Taylor spoke with Acadian Ambulance and they share what they are seeing firsthand as well as tips. My KLFY weather app says it's 92 degrees, but it feels like 107 degrees with temperatures as such. Aaron Webb with Acadian Ambulance says it's important to stay hydrated and take breaks from the heat. It's common already in the summer for people to be working outside, uh, whether that's just exercising um, or just occupations that are in the heat, that people tend to get overheated, get dehydrated, not keep up with replacing what they're sweating out. Webb says there are several types of heat related illnesses to be aware of, such as heat exhaustion, heat cramps and heat stroke. Patients um, oftentimes will need really active cooling where we actually start to put water and ice packs on them and start IVs and replace a lot of the fluid that they're losing with IV fluids. 911, where is your emergency? He tells News 10 that since the beginning of June, they have responded to at least 150 cases dealing with heat related illnesses. Anytime you start sweating, you need to be aware that you're potentially going to be behind on on replacing what you're losing. KLFY Chief Meteorologist Heat Morton says having heat advisories and extreme heat warnings is not uncommon at this time of year. However, there is some good news. It looks as though we're going to see some cooler weather come in as we go into early next week as rain chances come up and the high pressure that has been bringing us the heat is going to weaken and kind of slide off to the east. So we should be back to more normal conditions as we head into early next week. You can find more information on preventing heat related illnesses on our website at KLFY.com. In Lafayette, Rodrigo Taylor, KLFY News 10.